today while we were out, we ran by two different Dollar Trees and picked up our St. Patrick's Day stuff. Now, pre-2020, I didn't really do a lot of decorating for like the little holidays like Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day. But with this home a lot right now, in between adventures, I just, I wanted to give a little bit of greenery just here and there. So we picked up a couple of things from two different Dollar Trees. I'm gonna turn you around and show you what we picked up today. Starting over here, I saw these bins at Dollar Tree and these are not for St. Patrick's Day. I just like the color of them. But then whenever I got home, this is what they compare to the size of the ones from Amazon. The ones from Amazon absolutely fit their floppy folders, which is what they use since most of their work is digital. So will I be able to use these for actual putting floppy folders in? Probably not. And they're also taller, so I'm not even 100% sure they'll fit on the bookshelf. But I figure I'll find some way to use them for organizing. I, w I was pretty sure they weren't going to be the same style, but I still wanted to try $4 a piece. Now let's get to the St. Patrick's Day of the first store, which technically this one's not. This is a spring item. I actually could not find anything in the St. Patrick's Day decor that I really liked for the drink station. So I decided I'm just going to go ahead and switch over to spring once it eventually warms up. So these are the napkins that I picked out. They're a little bit taller. I'm not 100% sure they'll fit, but I really liked them. So I'm hoping to put these at the drink station when spring eventually gets here. So this metallic green paint was actually purchased for this. This was my favorite of like their board signs or anything that I thought would look really well on the front door. So what I'm going to do with the help of probably my oldest because she has a lot of painting stuff to do is paint this with at least a metallic green and then maybe get a gold. I couldn't find a gold in their paints that I liked. So I may go to a crafting store like over the weekend and look for some gold to do the hearts and then do the outline in green kind of like this is. But I wanted it to be, I don't know, I still wanted it to be different. This was still just not quite what I was going for. This is going to be more metallic than glittery. So that's what I'm hoping for. These right here I bought to go in my tray that I kind of just keep all of my farmhouse style decor in. I'm going to take all the Valentine's beads out after Valentine's Day and put these in instead and leave the yarn balls and a couple of other things and just kind of keep that tray changed up for the year. But this was actually in the flower section. It wasn't with the uh, St. Patrick's Day decor, but I thought it would look super cute. The next two things, I normally don't buy a lot of their obviously fake flowers, but these actually looked really cute. And they have the little shimmery uh, clover or shamrocks in with them. So I thought I would combine these two to make a really big bouquet for one of the tables. And then the other table, I'll probably either just remove any accent from or just keep a candle on it. I'll do a video once I finish putting everything together so you can see what all the pieces look like. So there's two of these that will be outside in front of our large bay window and it'll be on either side of them on command hooks but these were my favorite the ones they had board signs again but they only had the same one on each one and i kind of like whenever i can get you know different signs for one on each side so it's not literally the same thing that or my finding matching items so i went with matching items this time and last but not least this was one that we really wanted to do these are little St. Patrick's Day uh, pots. I know they kind of look like witches' cauldrons, which kind of I don't. I don't really do a lot of Halloween decor, and I didn't want it to look like that. But I'll show you in a minute how we're going to use these. But this is for one of my shelves. It literally has five shelves on it, so it's going to be on there. And here is what was at the Family Dollar Tree. It's a Family Dollar and Dollar Tree combo. And the reason I stopped there was because the first Dollar Tree did not have these little shamrock coins. And it says um, four leaf clover for good luck. And I wanted to put these in here to make them look like little pots of gold. And they didn't have them. So I stopped at that store to buy these. And then I found these LED battery powered clover lights that are going to go in Sarah's candle holder in the dining room. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.